Hi everyone. This video is going to be talking about my journey to natural hair. Well, the journey back to natural hair. Um, starting off, I was natural as a child growing up and um, my mom used to do my hair. My mom would wash our hair and flat iron, well, hot comb our hair. Like, you know, trying to get them kitchens in the back and it would burn and it would hurt and you would always have a scar or something somewhere on your head and it would hurt and that's all we knew growing up that's how our mother did our hair and as time went on my mom gave us the option to start doing our own hair so we bought a curling iron you know and we went to the salon what happened was um, the summer of 1992 um, we vacation down in Florida. We're originally from up north. And we vacationed down in sunny Florida with my cousin and my aunt was like, okay, do y'all want to go to the salon and get a haircut and get some color, you know, and we were like, okay, not knowing, you know, not knowing any which way. We're like, okay, sure. So we go to the salon and the style that was out and that was all the rage was the mushroom. Who are short here and then long in the back. It's almost like two haircuts in one, like um, a party in the back and then short in the front. I don't know what you would call that, but that's what it was. And we both got um, uh, the Coca Cola color rinse back in the 90s. That was what it was. So that's what we had. And we, and I remember my mom coming down to get us from. You know, towards the end of the summer, and she had a fit and was like, you guys cut your hair? Because we had really long hair, and we cut it really, really short. So that was the end of that. Like, my mom was like, okay, you guys are on your own. You guys have to do your own hair. So we started doing our own hair, using curling irons. We cut us a bang. You know, we played around with our hair. And as we played around with our hair, our hair started to get very damaged. Very, very damaged very quickly. And um, all through middle school, high school, um, that's what it was. We just had terrible hair. Going up into our, you know, our adulthood, we kept up with the perms. We would get relaxers in our hair, and we would get relaxers every six to eight weeks. More towards the six weeks and not towards the eight weeks, which damages your hair even the more because you're putting so much chemicals on your hair and on your weak ends. Your crown of your hair around the top and the sides and in the back are the weakest. And when you're putting, you know, you keep putting that on your hair, that, that relaxer chemical on your hair every six weeks, it's actually thinning those areas and damaging those areas. So, fast forward to, um, a little bit before I got married. I got married in 2002. Prior to that, I was wearing my hair very short. I liked the um, kind of short bob where it was stacked in the back where you can push it up and it kind of came long in the front to like you lower the, uh, you know, to your chin area. That's how it was before I got married. And when I got married, I started to let it grow out from that point. The longest my hair got was, I would say, um, maybe a little bit before bra strap length at the the peak throughout my whole time being an adult having that having permed hair well relaxed hair um, a little bit you know maybe three or four inches before it got to bra strap length I was going to a wonderful hairstylist I loved her she had beautiful long hair as well um, she did a great job on my hair then I moved my husband and I decided to move closer to our church so when we moved I started going to another hairstylist and this particular hairstylist you know she had all the accolades of you know um, she's gone to Paris and she's done this fashion show and that fashion show and you know she had a great you know resume but it didn't seem like she knew what she was doing she gave me a relaxer and a treatment in the same visit okay that's a big time no-no. So, needless to say, my hair fell out. First of all, my hair burned to the scalp. 
I had hair stuck to my scalp, like all back here. If I were to put my hair in a ponytail, so my hair is in a ponytail today. And when I put my hair in a ponytail, this, the ponytail part was so thin because she had cut so much. I mean, the, the perm had ate out, the relaxer ate out so much back here. And, um, it wasn't thick. It, it, it was just terrible. So, needless to say, I did not, I went back to them twice just to get washes because I didn't want to get another perm. I was, you know, I was terrified. So, I ended up going back to my original hairdresser that I had gone to her for like four or five years. So, I went back to her and she had actually cut my hair into the old fashioned, well, it's not old fashioned, but the, the classic Halle Berry from Risky Business. Um, hairdo, you know, the, the fuller Halle Berry, not the really, you know, textured Halle Berry, but the fuller Halle Berry, yeah, that's what she did to cut me, cut my hair to that point. And at that time, I was pregnant, so my hair did grow pretty good. Whenever I am pregnant, my hair does grow good, and so my hair did grow, and I stopped getting relaxers all together. I was just getting like kitty relaxers, which is like a just for me relaxer. And I started getting that. And it's like I would get the relaxer or the, the kitty relaxer and two weeks later I would need another one. It was terrible. So at that point my hair was probably back to how it was prior to me getting married. So at the point of where my hair was when I was getting married it was like a short bob. That's where it was, and that's where it stayed. For a whole year, hardly, my hair did not hardly grow at all. And I have, I mean, I, I grow, can grow hair. My hair grows long. But during that time, I think my hair was just so just damaged at, to that point that it would not grow. So, at this point, I just was frustrated. I just didn't know what to do. Um... Me and my sister-in-law at the time were both wanting new hairstyles. We both were damaged with our hair. Um, you know, she had her own situation going on with her hair, and I had my situation going on with my hair. We both were not happy. And, you know, she came to me one day and said, you know, I'm thinking about going natural. And she showed me some videos on YouTube, and I was like, okay, this might be the answer to my problem. Maybe I need to go natural with her and see, you know, what happens. Now, people always say going natural, you know, no one could go natural unless you have a good grade of hair. I mean, what does that mean? Good hair. I didn't care about that at that point. I was just wanting to make sure that my hair was going to be healthy, that it was going to thrive and grow. So, I watched a lot of the videos and we both were getting anxious, you know, it might have been, it, my last relaxer was, um, December 18th, 2009, 2008, December 18th, 2008, and I cut my hair, um, I big chopped on May 12th, 2009. So here it is, 2013, and I will be four years natural on May 12th. And I am so happy. It was the best decision I could have ever done. You know, at first, you know, your hair is reverting back to its natural state. So it is going to be coily and kinky and knotty and, you know, quote-unquote nappy to where it's, you know, hard to manage and you don't know what's going on. But I was excited. During that time, you know, seeing a lot of people's stories now that they were like, oh, I can't handle it, this and that. I really wasn't even thinking about that. I was just so excited to have, you know, a way of having natural hair, going back to what I had when I was little. And I thought about how thick my hair was and how healthy my hair was. I didn't know what my curl pattern looked like because we always had our hair straight. You know, my mom flat, um, hot combed it, so I didn't know what my curls would look like, but I was excited to explore and see what it looked like. So, after I big chopped, I, I remember even what I used. I big chopped my hair and I used um, Dr. Brunner's um, cast style soap to wash my hair. And I just, it just was the most 
freeing experience to have cut my hair off and to know that it's a new me and natural me. I don't have to have a perm to look beautiful. I was beautiful naturally and I loved my hair. I did end up wearing a lot of pretty earrings, doing up my face, wearing pretty makeup. And then I did cover it up for a while so it could grow out and I you know, would rock the wigs and you know, rock the braids and different things to help me along in my transition. Because when I did transition, start transitioning to natural hair and then I big chop, it still took time for my hair to start growing and for me to feel you know, very comfortable with it. Because it already was an experience for me going from relaxed hair to relaxed long hair to relax short short hair you know I was used to the bob but then to go to like the Halle Berry that was a, that was an adjustment but then going from the natural the relaxed hair that was short to short 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 hair because I when I big chop my hair might have been this long like maybe an inch or two inches long and it grew and a lot of things that I did, I made sure I moisturized, moisturized, moisturized because when you are transitioning, your hair is very dry because it's coming through the root and, you know, sometimes even that relaxer will pull out your hair, but you're not pulling your hair out. Your hair is just staying in its natural state and it gets dry. So you need to, you know, do different things to your hair to help your hair get moisturized. And I will do a video on that, about moisturization for natural hair. I will do a video on that to give you in-depth detail on how what I did and what I used and again it's me this is what I use this is what I did but I am very happy with my hair now my hair is uh, long and it's, it's, it's growing and I love my hair I could go natural sometimes and then I can go straight sometimes so I do like the versatility of having natural hair and I like wearing my own hair I have nothing against you know weaves and wigs and sew-ins and all that but I love just wearing my own hair so so after that point um, it took a while that first year was a trial trial and error error period for me you know I did learn a lot I did make mistakes through the journey what I what I know is some solid information is if you're gonna go natural don't worry about what other people say because when I first started going natural and I told my family I told different ones they were like going natural are you serious you're gonna look like a chicken head you're gonna look a mess and that's what you'll look like at first. You know, I'm not even going to lie. Your hair is going to be short. Your hair is going to be, you know, maybe not the way you exactly are wanting it to be, but it's going to grow. That's the whole point. That you're going back to a point where your hair could be so super healthy and let it grow from a healthy standpoint. And when your hair starts to grow and you can see those benefits of your hair growing and what you're using on your hair, and is allowing your hair to grow, you're going to be so excited and happy that your hair is is getting to the level of what you're expecting it to be. So fast forward to these four years, um, has been wonderful, has been trying at times as well, but I am excited to be natural. Um, I don't think I'll ever go back to the relaxer the creamy crack as they call it. I don't think I'll ever go back to it because I know what type of damage is done to my hair. There are people out there that love natural, you know, love their creamy crack, their relaxers, but it's just not for me. So, um, I hope this has helped someone. Please put down in the bottom bar any questions that you have, um, any any more video ideas you have on, along the lines of natural hair, I'll be more than happy to, to make more videos. Um, I'm just so excited to be on YouTube and um, hear your story, that you all learn um, a little bit about me and my story, and I learn from you as well. So I hope that I said something to inspire you, to help you continue on in your journey of natural hair. and. I just hope that you are uh, just happy with who you are as a person and that your natural beauty shines through. Okay, well I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all later. Bye!